Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review on the brand new Marvel Legends Black Panther Wakanda Forever Build-A-Figure Wave Atuma or Atuma Build-A-Figure Wave Okoye. Now this is a absolutely awesome figure and an awesome update that I didn't think we needed, but now that we have it, I don't think I could have it uh, not in my collection. It just fits so perfectly and it gets everything right with the character design. And it's also great to just get this character back out into the line because it was a Build-A-Figure before and, you know, not a lot of people wanted to build that wave to get a small figure that they didn't really know too much of at the time. And then people started knowing her and then the figure just went up in price and then boom, they released this and everyone was uh, very happy as was I because this is a great update. But without further ado, let's get into Okoye, the leader of the Dora Milaje's review, I guess. So the Okoye figure is only included with another accessory being the uh, kind of dagger, but I don't think I've ever actually seen them use these in the movie. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember seeing Dora Milaje use these or those Nakia rain things. I know those were included with the first Dora Milaje army builder, and I still didn't understand why they uh, included those. But the box here is what I want to go over first. A uh, very cool image of Okoye there on the front. GameStop Canada. There's the price I paid. Beautiful image of Denai Guerrera on the side. And she's included with the Atuma head. And she's number three. We will have Hatet Zarazi coming next. That is essentially everything for the box. Obviously in plastic free, sadly. Now, this figure... It has a lot of new, which, I, you know, you wouldn't really expect because this is a uh, kind of re-release of a character, but there is a lot of new stuff here. The arms going down are entirely new. The legs are entirely new. Where did I put the Aquaria figure? Oh, she fell down. Yikes. I'm going to wait for comparisons, but I'm just going to look at it to the side. This entire drape or dress kind of piece here is all new, which also means, if I'm not wrong, actually, this, the uh, bottom torso and the upper torso are reuse, but the head is, I don't know, I don't think the head is new. The head is uh, repainted, but it is, I think, the same, and she does have this extra piece around her neck, which is not on the original figure, so a lot of new legs, arms, uh, dress, and this, all new and new paint, and it is just very accurate to the design of her, not only in Wakanda Forever, but just in all her other appearances in the Infinity Saga. Now, like I said, she is included with this accessory, which, you know, she can hold in her hand, but I'm not going to have her display with it. Actually, she can barely hold it in her hand because it is a lot skinnier than this. So we're going to put that to the side. Now she does have the beads, which do look awesome. Those look great. You can't take them off, unlike Nakia. The Nakia ones you could take off. These you cannot. That head sculpt is absolutely amazing. Very, very Denai Guerrera. And you can also see the tattoos going around the whole head sculpt, which is a great bonus. That was a very funny part in the movie. <laughs> you bald-headed demon. There you can see the gold shoulder pads, which honestly, the plastic that they used, you would think would be weird because it's, you know, Hasbro plastic usually comes out looking cheap, but something about it, I just really like the uh, kind of color they went with here for all these gold elements on the uh, figure. These I'm a big fan of because I remember those from the movie and the actual uh, Build-A-Figure one had like some kind of shoulder pads, but they were very inaccurate and you will see that in the comparison. But this entire design is just so well sculpted and very well painted. Like I said, this is all new. That is great to get. And I am uh, thinking maybe of getting a second one because I have the first one on the Infinity War shelf and I have this on the Phase 4 shelf, but I really want to put this maybe on like the Endgame shelf or the Infinity War shelf just because it is so accurate to those designs, and especially with those pinless arms. Now the sculpt there is awesome. You can see... It is textured going all the way up and the boots look great and then the upper thighs here also have this awesome texture which looks great especially with the pinless design but other than that i don't actually think there's too much more to go over with this figure because you know it is 
I don't want to say essentially a re-release, but there's a lot of re-release uh, stuff, re-released stuff with this, or reused stuff with this figure, but there is some new. I think I managed to cross all the points I wanted to cross off. So yeah, I guess let's get into the Okoye articulation. So the articulation on Okoye is very, very good. The head goes up that much, down a great amount. A little bit of tilt, actually, decent amount. Arms go out that much. Just be careful. I don't want the shoulder pads to fall off on your figures. Arms go down, full 360. There is a bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows, which look great. And then all the hands are just the two pairs. Not two pairs, the two hands are both on horizontal hinges, so they go up and down in full 360. App crunch goes down that much. Back, side, side, full 360. Leg kicks forward that much. Be careful of this. I would hate for that to tear. Uh, leg kicks back, not that much, if not at all. A uh, little bit of splits. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees, which look great. Boot rotation? No, no boot rotation, but the ankles go up a great amount. Down and ankle rocker pivot. But let's do the comparisons. So here we have the Okoye figure next to the Okoye build a figure and the Dora Milaje. I have the IO head on there right now. But this figure, I do think could get remade with these arms potentially and some other uh, parts of the figure could be used to make a new Dormelage army builder because I do really think they could do a second wave for Wakanda Forever because there's a lot of figures that I really want after seeing it. But the main thing I want to show you here is these two next to each other. The eyes on the first one are very dark where these new ones are, you know, they look a lot more human. This is just, I don't know, something is off with those. And then the, you know, it's not a bad figure by any means, but just when you look at it next to this one, I can tell that this is very concept art inspired. And I mean, if you have this already, I don't entirely think you need to get this, but it is a great update, I would say, for sure. And then the spear is also technically inaccurate, but I do like this a little bit more, even though it is inaccurate. Now, the other figures I want to compare her next to is Kukulkan, Ooh. or Namor. I really hope we get a Namor in my fantasy second wave of Black Panther Wakanda Forever wave, uh, figures with the uh, big headdress that he has in the movie. Here we have the Nakia. The review for her is out as well. Both of these reviews are out. Here we have Kim T'Challa, which looks... Great next to her, rest in peace to the king. And we have the Mbaku Builder figure. What one of the most important comparisons, as I say, would be the Atuma Builder figure because these two do duel a little bit in the movie. They actually said that that was one of the hardest scenes, or if not the hardest scene to film. I think they had to redo it a whole bunch of times. And then we also have Ross. But other than that, I think that's all the comparisons I have for. The Okoye, well, I guess I have her here, so why not? There we have the Nakia from the first movie. But let's get on to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this Okoye figure is I think this is an amazing figure to get. Not only is it a great figure to get, but it is a great figure to get back in the line, especially because that old one is going up in price a decent amount, or was going up in price, but this definitely helped that, and it is leaps and bounds better that, than that one, and it is definitely a lot cheaper because that one, like I mentioned numerous times, is a Build-A-Figure. Uh, if you have that old one, I still think you should get this one because it is a great update, and I love the beads on the arm and all this new fabric and the arms and the legs are great updates very modern design to uh, marvel legends but a great interpretation of the figure with all that modern uh, you know marvel legends goodness so overall i think i'm gonna have to give this figure a 9.5 out of 10 i don't think there's really anything they could have done better with this and i think it is the perfect nakia figure right now i don't think we need one for a, a decade unless the, unless they give us no spoilers, never mind. But like I said, 9.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I have been Jagger Collector. The Dora Milaje have jurisdiction wherever the Dora Milaje find themselves to be. Bye guys.